What's going on YouTube? Coming back with a quick video. This is going to be how to get rid of a soft band. Um, I'm going to show you how you can tell your soft band and then how you can get rid of it. First off, the way to get soft band is if you're spoofing your location. And actually, you can get soft band without spam or spoofing your location. It's very hard to do, but it can happen. And I'll explain that also. First off, you'll do it by whenever you're choosing your location to switch to. I'm on my second account one where I spoof random locations uh, to check if uh, they're nests or anything. So right here's a snubble nest out here. Um, and how you can tell if you're soft band, you click on a Pokestop and you spin it. I'm getting items, so I know I'm not uh, soft band. And then another way to tell is if you click on a Pokemon. Sorry, get this in the out of AR. Third Pokeball. Now, if he runs away, if it spins once, they jump out and run away, then it's a possibility you're soft banned. I called him, so I know I'm not soft banned. The way that you get soft banned, though, is say, if I'm at my house, I catch a Pokemon, then I'm like, well, I want to go 40 minutes away to some park and get Pokestops. Well, if you've already called a Pokemon at your house and then go, you're going to get soft banned because you went 40 minutes away in two seconds and that has caused you to be soft banned. The reason, another, and that's the same thing. Whenever I'm at home so, or at work, sometimes my GPS will throw me back home and I'll catch a Pokemon because it's like a starter that I want. And then it'll throw me back home and I'll still try and see what, like it just did right there. It's glitching out for a second. Because it was throwing me back home, bringing me back here. So if I caught a Pokemon when it threw me back home, because sometimes it will throw you home for about 10 seconds. If you see something there you want to catch, and it throws you back home, and you catch it, then you're going to be soft banned. I can still not soft ban. can still get items. So there you go. So that's how you get soft banned if it sends you back home. Here's how to get rid of it. You're going to, well, can't do it with this Pokestop because I just used it. So give me one second. The easiest way to get rid of a soft band, I hate this joystick sometimes, I wish it would just point you in the direction your character's looking. But how you get rid of it is you click on a Pokestop and you spin it. Back out. And you will just keep redoing that repeatedly. I'm not going to get soft band because they have started cracking it down on people who do get soft band. Uh, they'll start noticing it and then you will be kicked. But what you would do is you would just keep clicking the Pokestop, spin it one time, back out, click it, spin it. Once you do that 40 times, you won't be soft banned anymore. Uh, and the other way to do it, if you travel super far away um, to catch something and you don't want to get soft banned, or you are soft banned and you want to get rid of it, the only way to do that would be to wait, I think it's about five or six hours, get on, and then it, you'll be unsoft banned. But when you do that, you want to make sure you pull up your GPS spoofer or whatever you're using first before you log into your account. Because if not, it'll probably pull you back home and then you'll go back out there and you'll get soft banned. Unless you don't catch anything, don't click on anything when you're at your house and you just shoot over there. Because they can't do, can't uh, ban you for that because that happens to me just with my regular GPS. For some reason, it still got me set at my home location. It'll put me there when I'm at work, and I'll have to move it around by like turning off my uh, game and location, and then turn it back on. So, anyways, that's how you get rid of a soft band. I'll be uploading this later. Hopefully, you enjoy this. And anyways, thanks for watching. Peace out.